hi guys welcome back today's video is the second vlog in my my weekend dolls series i came up with the title this time yay <laughs> uh so right now what i'm doing that is doll related but also not like exciting to film is that i have a really exciting partnership with a chinese company uh basically similar to the proxy that i use from japan to get products to me so it'll be a way that i can actually share an accessible way for you guys to access products from china so i'm super excited about that uh, so I'm basically just shopping for the dolls that I want to purchase for that. And oh my god, there's so many things that have been my have been on my wish list forever. So I'm super, super excited about it. And uh, I got two packages today. And I ordered both of these last week. These are two out of four uh, little pet shop boxes that I have ordered. One's from Mercari and one's from eBay. I'm not sure if I'm going to open them in this vlog or if I'm going to save them for like a full length video or something. I don't know because... Um, I, I don't mind doing little special content. I don't mind if I do content that doesn't like perform super well or anything because if you guys enjoy it and I enjoy making it, then we're good. Um, and I might put them into like a Generation 7 little special up video because I have a bunch of Generation 7 little special up stuff I need to show. I'm not sure. We will see. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, today's the 26th, Monday. So tomorrow is the 27th and that is going to be Pokemon Day. So if you're not a Pokemon person, that's Pokemon's like anniversary day and they announce special stuff that day and um I am very very excited for this one because we are most likely getting another Pokemon Legends game and I don't know if I would prefer it to be Gen 5 or Gen 2. I feel like Gen 5 has a lot of loose like things in the like lore that could be tied up with the Legends game but um Gen 2 is like I love Gen 2 so I would be very very happy with either of those. We're gonna have a little pet shop week I think. <laughs> Well, one of the packages that I ordered um, won't ship until like Thursday, I think. So it's definitely not getting here this week. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe it could come here by Saturday. Who knows? Probably not. But yeah, I'm kind of not purchasing a lot of stuff right now. So I'm not sure how videos are going to go this month or like going into March because March I have a like toy show trip that I'm going on. So um, I got to save my money for that. So yeah, that's what's going on. Hey guys, so I'm playing on Neopets right now, <laughs> of course, and I didn't log in like at all this month, so I missed out on the Valentine's Day capsule that they did, which is a huge shame because I really, I like to collect the free like gifts that they give out, but I got the Valentine's Day like paid for capsules. And then I also bought these two backgrounds because I'm always looking for new backgrounds for my pets. Um, and this I bought because I don't really like the stuff in here, but there's like a specific item that is basically like a paintbrush and a so hopefully I can get that because it's like a special bonus item though, so I doubt I'll get it, uh, but we'll find out. So let's do it. Uh, come on. Ooh, we got one of the bonuses. See, this item is like genuinely terrifying a little bit, uh, but this is cute, so that's cool. Um, Neopets has been running a little slow lately. So, oh my gosh, please stop. <laughs> my pets are hungry right now, sorry. Um, go back to the Neocache section. Okay, let's open it again. And hopefully I won't have to open all these. Okay, that actually might be cute. It's just, I mainly have walkies and walkies look really weird in most dresses. So we'll see. Ooh, another one. Hey guys, I've got the flash on. So sorry if it's a little weird. I did order lighting for this room um, just so I don't have to like carry my filming light back and forth, but it'll be here at some point during this week, I hope. But anyway, um, I'm redoing my... Pikmin shelves right now and I took down there was just a bin sitting here that was the extra stuff I took that down I also moved all the plushies because they were causing it to be very crowded and confusing I moved them over here so the Nessa berries need a new spot now and one of the Nessa berries is a Toho Nessa berry but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna move the Toho stuff we will see we will see um because I, I think I have a spot where they would be good which is there but then that causes the Pokemon problem again and also doesn't solve the Nessa Berry problem. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, this shelf is going to be the games as well as various little merchandise pieces for each of them. So as you can see, original Pikmin 3 merch, I only have the Silly Bands. But I love the Silly Bands, so it's a good thing. Because um, these go to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. The only Hey Pikmin merch that I know of is that and it's in box so if i get one out of box that'd be great i think they re-released it i need to double check on that and look at my my original olimar uh the window's yellowing in my first apartment i displayed that in the window so whoops <laughs> i didn't really even think about it at the time and then these things are so so cool i got them from an artist on etsy um well i got them at 
conventions in person, but the artist is Trade Ship Odessa, and I'm pretty sure they've done the rest of the Pikmin, so I need to hurry up and order those because I really love these. These are some of my favorite things that I have, and I've had them for, God, almost like 10 years now. And then I have the full set of these. I just haven't opened them all yet. I'm not, like, nervous about it for some reason, uh, but I'm doing little short videos for that. And then I moved all the plushies over here, like I said, and I think it looks really cute. This is actually a bootleg, but I've had it since childhood and it looks cute there. And yeah, I still need to get the glow Pikmin from this set, but I'm so annoyed because they released the glow Pikmin later because the glow Pikmin was a surprise. Like I get it. It's fine. But everybody who sells the glow Pikmin separately is selling him for like $10. And that means you have to play 10 pen. Oh my God. Pay $10 plus shipping plus fee. So it's going to be like almost like $15 or more for the one plushie. So the best option is to order a full nether set, um, including the glow Pikmin, which I guess that would be fine because then I'd have a set to display and a set to like actually use. I don't know, because they're little keychains, but anyway, I really would like to have some glow Pikmin merch. And there's a lot of Pikmin 4 merch and I would like to get a lot of it, but I'm being, being a little bit stingier than usual. Uh, but I'm very, very excited, and this area looks a lot better. Also, the, <laughs> my original Pikmin 2 is not in here, or my Pikmin 1, because they're actually in our, like, active, we play them, um, but those are my childhood ones, and my friend gifted me this, but I was like, I don't want to accidentally get confused and think that that's my childhood one, so it's outside, but that actually looks kind of cool, so it's fine. And then um, my friend also gifted me this one, but she um, <laughs> put Super Mario 128 on it, which is kind of iconic, so I'm going to pin that to the wall. I want to get one of those. They make little disc protectors, and I'll put that on there so that it's safer. But yeah, that's hilarious. Hey guys, it's now Tuesday night, and today's task for me is that I want to film the Precure review so that it can be out by tomorrow. I don't know how likely that is to actually happen, but we'll see because it's already 10.30. Um, but I took a nap today, so I'll be up. Um, anyway, today I in this room my task is that my little spat shop shelves i don't want to do it but i need to put styrofoam that i bought in between the risers on two of the shelves which is it's an ordeal i hate doing it but it adds so much more space so it's worth doing and we're going to assess how much extra space i have and we are also going to be shelving the new ones that i got which i think i talked about it yesterday but i have two packages of new little pet shops and I actually have two more coming in the mail <laughs> um two are from Instagram sellers and then these two are from Mercari and eBay so I'm still not sure if I want to open those on camera or not we will see it just depends on the little pet shop video but I can defer because on Sunday I'm gonna be going into town so I can stop at Macy's and see if they have some pets and then I can do like a grand big unboxing I don't know <laughs> we will see I have a big cow next to me um so I thought you'd like to see him and yeah Hey guys, it is Friday night and I'm about to do a live stream. I just got my live streaming supplies in, so I'm really, really excited. So I think I filmed some on Wednesday. I did not film it all on Thursday. And the reason that I didn't film on Thursday is because I got home, I hung out for a while, and then I slept from about 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. I slept for over 12 hours. <laughs> um, so no footage from Thursday. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I just got my order in with my new streaming supplies. So I ordered lights for the computer, uh, which I think is what's in here. Yeah, so these are special little streaming lights. So these will basically go on the sides of my monitor and it's gonna be really cool. Um, we gotta set all this up and start streaming soon because <laughs> it's already 8 p.m. Um, I got a new power strip for my desk because Right now, the current desk setup is so much better, but the power strip is like on the ground underneath something. So I thought it would be really good to have one like this that can run directly onto the desk so that when I need to plug things in up here, I can. And this is really cute. It was a little bit expensive, but I didn't want it to just be like a strip. I wanted it to be like this. I thought this was really nice and it matches the rest of the room. If you can't tell, it's a greenish. <laughs> it's a little bit like a minty tealy green. Um, and webcam. I've been using Brett's webcam and I noticed that it kind of sucks, so hopefully this one's better. And then I have a blue snowball, which is like a really good microphone. Well, it's Brett's, but um, we lost the cord at some point when we moved, so I got a new cord for it. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> um, 
But like a blue snowball is like a really good microphone, allegedly. I don't know. I think it's what people use. Brett ordered it years ago. Maybe it's out of style now. I don't really care. Um, but yeah. Yay. And then I can finally return Brett's webcam to him. And hopefully this one is either better or the same quality. So yeah, those are my new supplies. Excited to get my desk set up better. So I'm going to do that off camera and then live stream. And maybe I'll rearrange my room a little bit after that. Who knows? Probably just going to be a heavy Saturday and Sunday footage video again. So yeah, I just found out I don't have dance practice like I thought I was going to on Sunday. So I'm going to have a lot more free time than expected. Okay, wait, I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I have two stories from today. The first story is this morning I got to work and I got a text from Brett, my husband. Um, <laughs> he sent me a picture of the bread, like the sub bread that we bought that um, had a bunch of giant bites out of it because he left it out, which is fine, but my cat decided he wanted to eat some bread. So he took a bunch of giant bites out of it. He's fine, we're gonna monitor him and make sure he's okay, because I don't think cats are supposed to eat bread. But anyway, humans probably aren't supposed to eat bread either, to be fair. Um, but anyway, Ronaldo, um, <laughs> he did that. So I posted a picture of it on Twitter because um, like Brett had said like, he's reached a new low or whatever. I forgot what he said. Oh, Ronaldo has one-upped himself. He said something like that. And I posted it because I was like, that's funny. And also the situation is funny. Like he ate sub bread. Anyway, like he's well fed, by the way, you can tell if you look at him, <laughs> but he, so I posted it and my friend responded, why is your sub bread $48? And I was like, I figured they misread it maybe it was four dollars and eighty cents which is still a lot because it's usually like two dollars but so i look at the picture and sure enough the tag says 48 dollars and when i went to walmart yesterday and i got my groceries i noticed like oh the price is really high that's weird and i was like brett what did you get like did something you get just like cost more than usual and we really didn't get that much because it was supposed to be a small trip but it was about fifty dollars more than it should have been haha <laughs> so anyway um I text Brett and I'm like, I didn't even actually tell him why, but I was like, do you have the receipt from Walmart? Oh my God, do you have the receipt from Walmart? And he does, he gets it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> look at the price of the sub bread. Um, thankfully we've got a refund and all is good. But it's so funny because if my, if Ronaldo hadn't, <laughs> sorry, the lights fell. If Ronaldo hadn't decided to be a horrible monster child, we would not have saved that $50 because Brett went and got a refund on that. So he said he didn't tell the customer service people what happened when I would have, because that's really funny. And as a, as someone who worked retail before, that would have made my day. But I guess I don't represent everybody in retail. Second story. Look how long and beautiful my nail is. Th this one. <laughs> okay, so at work today, I was giving a tour and we have rows that can expand and contract of like the collection of stuff. And I was giving a tour, like a behind the scenes tour, and I went to get the ladder because I needed to close one of the rows to open up a different one. And it was really awkward because I was like, the tour group's out there, I need to hurry up and like get this through. So I'm pulling the ladder as fast as I can, and there's bumpers that keep the compactors from hitting each other. It's like, I don't know how to explain, but like these, these, these giant shelves that are on a little spinning wheel and you can move them. Um, and it was way more closed than it should have been. And also there's little stoppers to keep things from bumping, like little rubber stoppers. The ladder got stuck on one of those stoppers and I ripped my nail almost off. But look, it's still attached and it still looks like I have a beautiful long nail. So it's about like here where it's attached. So eventually that's going to come off. So I'm just going to have to have a bandaid on for the next month or more, I guess. Sucks. And that was really awkward too because I <laughs> like had a panic attack in the middle of giving a tour. <laughs> super cool so um yeah those are my fun stories from today friday is always an eventful day for me there's always weird things happening okay i'm gonna set up for my stream i'll before i start the stream i'll let you know how everything looks all right y'all so this is what it looks like those things are on tripods which oh yeah peep the doll closet um these things are on tripods which i'm not super happy about so i'm probably gonna take them off the tripods and just tape them to the back of the computer so for now they're at a weird angle this camera is actually really cool except the like default i had to figure out how to fix this but the default that it had like the color scheme and stuff was so weird so i kind of messed with it oh no 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 do not do that <laughs> like uh i don't want to change it but the the camera was so like 
white and stale because the white balance but when i turned it off it was so orange in here and that's because i have like orange lighting in general in this room so i'll have to fix it um but i'm very happy with everything and the cord is working great which means i have really good audio quality now it's pretty impressive i'm happy about it um so yeah i'm gonna go live look at lego she had to be here good spot to stream because lego cannot get enough of me when i'm at my computer hi muffin Mwah. <laughs> And also I can stream like other things here too, like games and uh, different little like, like that rainbow high thing that we did where I ranked every rainbow high doll. That was super fun. Um, we can do more stuff like that and it won't be a trash video. Okay, I'm going to stream now. Bye. Oh my God, it took me like an hour to set that up. Hey guys, I just ended the live stream. My baby girl is pretty upset that I was giving other people attention. So she's here for some attention. Um, and I opened six dolls. So the premise was Japanese dolls, but... I don't know, it went really fast, so I decided to go get two more random dolls for my doll closet. So we opened the Jenny Marchand doll that I got in my last Japan haul. This is a marmot, I feel like her stomach just rumbled, did y'all hear that? Um, this is a marmot doll of Itoko-chan, and I got her, god, I think it was my first or maybe my second trip to New York when I went to book off, and I don't think I filmed it, so cool, and I couldn't get her shoe back on, so I'm gonna have to do that. But she's really cute. She's pretty dirty, though, even though she was in box, so she needs a cleaning. And I think she's from 1986, so that's pretty cool. I don't have a lot of dolls from the 80s, funny enough. That's just a decade I've skipped. Um, and then this is a J doll. She was actually gifted to me by Chris, who conveniently was in the chat, so that was pretty cool. And she's amazing. I, I like J dolls. I think they're really cute, and I knew of them, but I didn't really know anything about them. But this has converted me to a J doll super fan, oh my God. So I'm definitely gonna need to look further into these dolls and I am so grateful because I probably would never have gotten one otherwise, but look at that beautiful face. And then um, this is the Sun Colors Pocahontas doll that I got at Second and Charles, which is a used bookstore. And yeah, she is very cool. Her hair is amazing, by the way, it's so, so soft. And yeah, then this, these aren't cut by the way, they're just, ruffled in and then this is a sakura wars doll i already forgot her name it was something lee um and she's so cute i love her little glasses and her hair she is from the 90s i don't remember what year and she's very very cool i love her shoes too they're very simple but they just are a nice shape they fit her well i love all those scraps of vinyl that are still stuck to my table um because this is a cricket machine um, which cuts vinyl. And then this is a Jenny friend, Ellie doll from the Supermodel Club. And I think she's also from the 80s, right? Oh, wait, did I have her date wrong? I think she's also from the 80s. I'm pretty sure this one was, and I was like really surprised because she didn't seem like an 80s doll. Um, but she is very, oh no, sorry. This one's from the 90s, I'm pretty sure. And then this one's from the 80s, which she just doesn't look like a doll from the 80s. She's really, really, not that dolls from the 80s aren't nice, but I don't know, she doesn't have an 80s look to her, but I'm not super familiar with like 80s Japanese dolls or anything. Um, and then I also have this little mini haul of things that I needed. <laughs> um, so ignore the flowers. Um, so I needed sticky notes really, really bad. So I got a bunch of sticky notes. I got this magnet um, because there's always like sewing needles and things everywhere in my drawers. So hopefully that will curb that. Um, I noticed I had no sewing needles because when I was working on the Decora wig for my Decora Girls video, I had to search for 30 minutes and I found one sewing needle and it was like not the optimal needle. So I... Uh, poked holes in my hands. It was not pleasant. So I bought a pack. So hopefully these last. This is a lot of sewing needles, 45 of them. So hopefully that works. And then I also bought this set because I was like, wait a minute, these curved ones would be so good for wigs specifically because it was pretty weird to use the straight needles on the wig. So I decided to try these. We'll see this like really big, funny one too. Um, so I don't know, versatile will come in handy. And then I also needed, I didn't want to buy any like branded stuff. I mostly stick with like off-brand stuff because it's cheaper. Why not? Um, especially when it's the exact same quality, but I really needed long sticky notes and they just didn't have any. So I got these and yeah, cool. That's my little haul if you care. <laughs> and here's my daughter, my beautiful girl. Hey guys, so it's Sunday. Didn't film anything yesterday. Pretty sure I filmed something on Friday, but not a lot. It was just setting up my new computer thing, right? Um, today's agenda is, <laughs> the, the vlog is kind of forcing me to because I haven't really made any changes to anything this week and that would be a really boring vlog. So um, I'm gonna film the thrift video, edit it, upload it today so that you guys can watch it on Sunday. So you will have already seen it, hopefully, hopefully. And then the vlog will go up either Monday or Tuesday. It depends on 
how much I actually get done today because I want the vlog to be interesting for you guys in some capacity. So yeah, we might like clean up some dolls from the thrift haul. I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to be doing with that yet. We'll see. Um, or I don't know. We'll figure something out. I also really, really, really need to f film the P.O. Box video, but maybe I can do that tomorrow really depends really depends on how the rest of today goes so um right now we are going out to eat so not filming the thrift thing yet but soon um and i thought i would give you a sunday it's not morning i woke up at 11 30 sunday afternoon <laughs> update i'll see you in a bit i decided that i really needed to go touch some grass so we have decided to come to this outside region look how beautiful wow Touch some grass, you too. You really need to. I know it. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you because this is the doll vlog and I realized I probably should have filmed this because last night I was up till 2 a.m. doing this and today I just got home from work and I'm doing this already. So this is dollike.net. It's an interactive doll directory project that I founded, but I'm, it's volunteer run and I am not the person who put in the bulk of the work on this website by any means. Um, but the wink section is a little bit of my baby. And this is what I've been working on because um, I, there is no place on the internet where you can access a directory of every single wink doll ever made. There's some that are pretty good and have a pretty good amount of information, but there's none that has every single doll except like a few for like Mattel only, you know? And I'm not even sure if Jax has a full complete list anywhere. Like it's bad. And that's the point of Dalect is to solve these problems. So with Winx, Winx is really difficult because there's a lot of different series and there's like over a thousand dolls easily. There's so many, especially in Woody. Um, so right now, Dollboy, who I love, uh, has been working on the Mattel section and that kind of made me have a kick in the butt to like be like, okay, I'm gonna start working on the Winx section again because Mattel was one of the ones that I was stuck on and Dollboy has an amazing Mattel collection as well as a lot of really cool archival materials. So he's been working on this. So now there are listings for most of the Mattel dolls. He said that he's like almost done at this point and he's gonna fix all these images. Like if you see this, by the way, this is a placeholder that I put there months ago. So he's working on this and he's been finding images that I couldn't find or taking his own images. Like I think, I know these are his edits, but I'm pretty sure these are pictures of his dolls too. So this is like crazy helpful. And if you're not familiar with Dalect, anybody can volunteer to help with this project as well. We just ask that you're 18 and plus because that's how we contact, like how we interact with each other is on Discord. And I, you know, anyway, so he took like high quality pictures of his dolls. Like these are gold standard, amazing entries. And the thing with Dalect is that you can actually it's interactive. And that's what I mean by an interactive directory. You can create your own little lists and add them. So like, I don't have this particular blue doll, so I'm gonna add her to my wish list. And you can create whatever type of list you want. Like you only have one list to begin with, but as you can see, there's plenty of other lists too. I think my favorites is your original list, but anyway, uh, moving on, I wanna show you what I've been working on. I just I just had to speak highly of what Dollboy's been doing because he is, amazing <laughs> and again like i was stuck on mattel for so long and then i was stuck on the jokey preciosi dolls but solaria collector and pretty x flora or lymphaea lymphaea with an x um created a complete list of both of these lines so now i'm going to be trying to add these to doll act we still need images of the dolls though but i'll show you where i am so i haven't started on new jokey preciosi yet but i started on the old ones and these are just like 2004 through 2007 i call old um, I don't know if those are actual terms that anybody else uses, but they're the ones that I've been using for years. Um, and I'm still working on this page, so, um, and there's gonna be links to them. And, yeah, so we're missing, like, a lot of images right now, but I do have some. It's just that Joker Preciosi doesn't really have stock images that have survived, other than these print ads that some people have. And then some of them, like, this is a great print ad to use for reference, right? Like, you can see most of the accessories of the dolls. Of course, it would be better if we had, like, a perfect picture that somebody took of their own doll in hand, but, you know, this is pretty good. So you can see these ones are going to get their entries as soon as possible, because I can. And, yeah. And these images, by the way, these print scans that I've used, um, these are from my Dolly Shrine, who um, this would not be possible without, because these images... Um, again, like they're not accessible anywhere online. There's some people on Instagram that have posted them, but I'm not using anything without permission unless it's like something that was published to the internet. You know, um, somebody's own personal Instagram ads I'm not just going to take and put on here. 
but anyway yeah so that's where i am i'm very much i have a lot i have a long way to go with joey preciosi there's a lot of dolls in this uh series but yeah I'm gonna beef up this Winx Club section. The section that's gonna take me the longest, other than a check Preciosi is taking forever, but um, new witty toys, there is no place where they're all listed. And there are a lot. Every time I was searching for one image, I would find like six other lines that I've never even heard of when I was working on this. So um, I have a list that I made somewhere like on Google Docs, I think. Um, and there's very few actually listed on the site right now. It's actually the fair. I just went ahead and did the fairies because that's what most people are interested in. Um, these are links to separate pages. Oh, no, they're not. Well, they're supposed to be. Um, but yeah, I'm working on this, basically. This is something that I haven't worked on since, oh, God, like last year. But we're working on it. We are working on it. And then Jack's I did. This was like the first section I actually did for Doll Act was the Jack specific section because you guys know these are these are my babies. Um, and it's still not done actually like there's still some placeholders around like I don't have the release date for everybody and not everybody had stock images that were perfect I still have one these stock images. I do have these dolls. I need to take pictures of mine I guess but I think one of mine's not complete. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that But yeah, this was the first section that I did so it's not like amazing. You can see there's some placeholders still but yeah a list where you can access and I'm still working on this, um, but you can ask us like a complete list of all of the Jack Specific Wings dolls at least, and the Mattel ones will be done very soon. So yeah, Doll Act has like a ton of different doll lines by the way, and the graphics that you're seeing on the site were not created by me. There's a whole graphics team that are like amazing and they create the graphics for the site and it's all volunteer run. There's no ads or anything. It's all not for profit. Um, but you can see there's a ton of doll lines listed on this website. Not all of them are complete, um, but they're all like, pretty beefy and you can get a lot of information off of them and in theory eventually they will be complete. So I believe I checked earlier and there's 13,000 dolls already listed on the website. There's 86,000 images on the site. Like it's it's I'm really proud of how far this has come because when I founded it I I really thought I was going to like me and a couple of my friends were going to be doing this and that was how it was going to be but there's like the community response to this has been amazing so um you might hear me mention dialect occasionally in my videos this is what it is so you can just use this as a user like you can have your own little profile and just be on here this is my profile that it looks like this because i was testing features so like this like i don't need my neopet on here but i was testing a feature um because that's all i do i don't really do a lot of socializing on here i just like test stuff and add stuff um but yeah if you are interested, oh, and then here you can access your, well, actually I'll show you on this page. Dang, too late. Okay, there is a page where you can access your collection like this. So my collection's a lot bigger than 400. I just haven't added them all because I mostly use it for testing. Um, but as you can see on your profile page, people can actually see your collection. You can private this if you don't want people to see it, but yeah. And look how satisfying it looks. And then all of these actually link to the page of the doll that you've added to your collection. Like here's my Taylor Swift doll. <laughs> yeah. So that's Dalect. How do we like the lighting? This is the new streaming lighting, which we'll use for any videos that I film right here. Anyway, today is Monday. I don't know if I said that, but um, I didn't do a whole lot of moving dolls around. I mainly just did other things related to either my YouTube channel, been working on Dalect in the past couple of days, stuff like that. So yesterday, again, I worked on it for a long time. Today, I'm planning on working on it quite a bit more because I really want to get this wink section. Uh, robust and any links to anybody that I mentioned or anything will be in the description as well as the site itself so that you guys can check it out. Um, today I kind of want to mess around with my displays in here because that's something that you know I'm really interested in doing obviously it was something that I left uh, kind of behind last week but I don't really know I know um, my Chinese ball jointed dolls really need to be put back up because right now they're all just kind of they all fell over because <laughs> they're all just like in there and I kept taking their stands away but I think actually I'm gonna move them onto shelves over there and then move some other type of toy over here because there's certain things that work better in like a really small closed display case and I don't feel like the Chinese ball jointed dolls are like doing their best there I feel like they'd be better on one of these shelves that's behind me um but I don't know we're just gonna test that and then some other like smaller line or a line that has a lot of like weird different size stuff can go in the case like Neopets so much better in the case than it was on the shelves and it's just because of my Neopets collection like if I had a bunch of uniformly sized plushies sure it would look fantastic on display normally also something that I'm planning on doing but I don't know where I put it I have a plushie chain and it's it's just like a plastic chain that has little clips on it and I really want to put that up on the side of this this display case so that my Burger King Neopets can go on display um 
I'm not sure if I will actually find that for this video, but I kind of just teased that I was going to do something in the last video, but I'm like, why am I hiding this? <laughs> like, why? So that, that, that was the plan. If you were wondering, if you cared, if you even remember that part. Um, so yeah. I'll let you know when I do something. Okay, I'm here for honesty and authenticity. So I found the plushie chain, which I'm so excited about, but let me explain to you why I was like nervous that I wouldn't find it. So my style of cleaning sometimes is like, I'll put something somewhere and it just remains there because I know it's there. So this, for example, was in my Barbie A-frame dream house in my storage closet. And I knew it was there and it was there for a long time, but then I cleaned out that closet and like reorganized everything. So I was really worried that it was no longer in the dream house. But it was. Um, anyway, so we're gonna do better and like actually sort things properly instead of doing that. But like it won me, I mean, I've spent my whole life being like this, <laughs> um, but it won, I won. I will say these things fell out and are absolutely everywhere. They're just like stored away in various places. So we're gonna have <laughs> a fun time trying to find them. But for now we get to set up the plushie net or I keep calling it a net, the, the plushie chain. I do have nets, but like, they're not for this room. I mean, I guess I could set them up. Oh my God, it's so echoey in here. Why? That's so weird. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, I could set up a net like in various spots, but mm, I don't have enough. I mean, I do have, mm, it would be really good for Care Bros and My Little Pony together, but it would be here and it would obstruct the door, but I don't really care that much. I do want this door to be accessible, kind of. I haven't decided yet. If I had one more shelf in this room though, like my life would change. I'm joking. <laughs> I say that though. Um, I do really want to put, I mentioned this before, but put like sticky shelves on the side of this for extra G4 stuff because I know I'm going to need more space. And I would love to allot one of these G4 shelves to G3 overflow, but look what G3 has been up to. Like they, they keep overflowing, but G3.5 has no spot right now. And that makes me sad. Um, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Also the Neopets rug is going to drive me nuts now because I can't really put it here. I guess I could put it in front of the bathroom. Actually, that would help because, okay, so these floors are really old. Like my house was built, I don't even remember, like the 50s. So there's lots of weird things like this and I don't really feel like replacing the entire floor. That's not my truth. It might be your truth. I spend my money on other things like dolls. Um, when I move, maybe I'll replace the floor, but like, I don't want to have to like uproot my life to replace the floor. But anyway, anywhere where like somebody with wet feet walked, there's something like this. So actually, that, hold on, let me do that. Um. It's kind of stupid, <laughs> but I do have a My Little Pony rug. I have no idea where it is right now, but you know, I can put that there. And then I don't have a little Spetchup rug, but one does exist and I want it so bad. Um, so we'll rug up this room. It'll be nice. There is a little mat there. Well, there's a cushion, but there's a mat underneath that, I swear. Um, and I still need to address this. Also, I think what I'm gonna put on the glass shelves, the Pita Poke, I feel like I can put those on one of these shelves. You can see there's a situation happening there. <laughs> Um, and you can see the Chinese BJDs too. Um, but the Chinese BJDs I want to put on one of these shelves or two possibly. G2 is still causing me problems. So G2, hopefully I will be able to expand that collection enough where a shelf will be justified. But for now it just looks weird. Um, and then up there, strawberry shortcake. Still, still need to figure that out right now. <laughs> but for now it's just blocked out for them. But it makes it look like there's so much empty room back here because there's the little Spetchup Overflow shelf, which I'm going to start putting stuff on probably right now. I have some Blythe Loves Little's Pet Shop, which is what I'm gonna do with this shelf because uh, it's tough because Blythe pets do have numbers, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put the Blythe style pets here and then the Blythe dolls here like these. Um, but the pets will be sorted, unless I have doubles, um, will be sorted into their appropriate spots. So yeah, that's what we're up to. All right, I had to access my old Neopets caboodle. I mean, what are these called? I thought they're also called caboodles, but anyway, it's my old Neopets cards that were never sleeved properly, so they're a mess. I do have some promos, which are cool. Um, I also cut all of the tush tags and regular tags off of my Neopets, but I did keep them. So we should think about that. When I was like 10 years old, I was smart enough to do that. Um, anyway, so that's all the stuff that goes in there. And I decided to use the clips because that meant I didn't even need these hooks because I could just clip them directly on, although I usually use the hooks. Um, and then the clips I saved for the ones that didn't have the little loopy for some reason, because I don't know if these were from a different promotion or what the deal is, I don't know. Um, but I bought all of these in a lot years ago on eBay, like legit 2008, 
no, uh, 2010, I don't always say 2008. Um, I started playing Neopets in 2008, but I didn't get like into it, into it until like 2010. Um, yeah, this is what we're looking at. They're gonna be in rainbow order. And then I ran out of little clips and these next ones don't have the loops. So, and I'm not out of clips. I just don't know where they are right now. So I need to hunt those down, but uh, there's still room to grow, especially up at the top. Green is very, very full. Um, yeah, and then I do have some doubles that are not on display. And then the Walkies and Aisha, for now, I'm gonna leave out of the display because I want them here, but eventually they'll probably move over here. Um, very fun. And then also I put up the Pita Poke, which are the little Pokemon Girl figures. I don't know if they had a name in the US. Uh, oh, also I wanna get a command strip and put that calendar on the side here. So I think it would be cute to decorate the sides of this or like use it for more display. I don't know. Um, this thing doesn't have a like handle and it's really hard to open. I have to like squeeze my finger in up here. Um, but here's the Pita Poke. These are super annoying because the suction cups don't work all the time, especially in here, they weren't working. And some of them just don't work at all. Like. Um, who was it that I just have balance? Whimsic well, Whimsicott wasn't working anywhere, so I just balanced her there. Um, but yeah, I do have the other place that I swear. I'm, I'm starting to think that I don't, but I swear I do. And I found stairs that I'm pretty sure go to it. Oh, I could have put some in here. In here. But I have room for growth. Definitely, there's other things in this line, like little plushies and stuff. And then also those cute little Pokemon apartment buildings that I gifted to my husband. If he doesn't hurry up and put those on display, I'm going to steal them and put them in here. I'm kidding. Um, if he doesn't want them on display in his area. Um, but yeah, very cute. And I have a whole baggie of doubles of those, which is great. And yeah, cute so far. I need to figure out what the bottom two shelves are gonna be. And I need to find where this kind of, that, I was washing them by the way, the Pita Bouquet, um, cause some of them were a little dirty. Um, I need to figure out where all them, all these ladies are gonna go. So for the magical girls, they will remain in this room, but otherwise they probably will leave this room and go into the main doll room, but I'm thinking about somewhat consolidating Precure, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Definitely can deal with the Love Live stuff because they could just be there. They don't really need to be taking up two shelves here. Although I do love having them all laid out like this. They don't really need to be that way. So I'm probably gonna consolidate those a little bit and then that will free up more space for more displays because I definitely think Rainbow Bright's gonna end up needing more space, like for sure. And then I'm somewhat toying with the idea of moving Strawberry Shortcake over to here, but because the boxed ones, the, the reason they're up top, by the way, because otherwise they wouldn't be, is because I have so many boxed ones. These were gifted to me by my friend and I really love them. So I really want them on display. And also they represent a bunch of eras that I don't even have out of box ones for. So it's like really cool to have this timeline of strawberry shortcake. I love it. Well, they're not in any particular order. They're just in the order that made the most sense stacking them in, just so you know. Um, but I could move those over here and you see, is that lighting? No, there was like a hole in the roof when I moved in, so they never fixed, they never painted that to be even. Look how stupid that looks. Whatever. I'm gonna put posters up anyway. Um, or maybe, I don't know, who knows? Oh, I ordered, I ordered more of those, by the way. I finally found them. You'll see. You'll see. I have a very exciting, um, collaboration with a Chinese company. So if you guys are looking for Chinese dolls, get excited. Probably that video will not happen until March, though. Um, but anyway, the strawberry shortcakes, I can stack them like on that shelf behind me is and here. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do it. And then that fixes this My Little Pony issue that I'm having, which means I can start like scooching some people over and then G2 can be there. Cause right now it's weird, right? Because it's going G1, G2, G1, G3, G3, G4, and G5. I don't think G5 is ever gonna need more space as sad as that sounds. <laughs> I wish they needed more space. That would be great. But I basically have all of the unique characters other than blind bags. Well, I do have quite a few blind bags that are just not on display yet. Um, which, speaking of which, no, I'm not. Well, oh, I bought these little, oh my God, where are they? I bought these little uh, nail polish shelves to use for my little pet shops, actually. But the little pet shops are there. Like, I figured something out that I like better. But oh, I could do the blind bag ponies on there. Or even just the brushables, because these brushables are really small. But I love how this looks. It's so satisfying. Is there a lot of room for growth? Honestly, yeah, if I move these guys away. But yeah, I love this area. There's some customs in there, by the way. If you're seeing ones you don't have, that's why. So yeah. And then I did just get the pearlescent cherry berry, and she is actually not... I, I knew I had cherry berry, but I guess I don't have the pearlescent one. So yeah, put her on display. Cute. Okay, strawberry shortcake. I'm gonna see if they fit. 
over there. It's gonna be a little weird, but it makes sense because She-Ra and Rainbow Bride are there, so it kind of works. Whatever. It's my life. You guys, this was a true stroke of genius. So now I have extra space up here for whatever I'm gonna do with that. We'll see. I don't know yet. I mean, I don't know what the top will be. I know what will go there. Uh, but anyway, look, that's so cute. So in theory, at some point, I would like to have like more of each of the series, but I think this is gonna work because these figures are like my favorite strawberry shortcake thing. Those new dolls will probably beat them, but there's space for both, and I don't even have risers on this shelf yet, and then these risers have a ton of space. So right now, they're they're sorted by series, but not in any particular order, so like that's a basic fun repro, these are the originals, well, right? Um, and then these are the, I think 2009 was the year for these. These, I don't see these for sale very often, I've never seen one secondhand, but maybe someday. Uh, they're back there, and then these I also never see for sale, but they're there, and I could fill in more. Um, of course, we've got our antagonists, and then I've got these really cute playsets here, and this little stinker's hiding back here. So, yeah, I love this. I think this is super cute, and I do have more Strawberry Shortcakes, especially original run ones. Um, you just, I have to get them out of deep storage, and I wanted to make sure I had a spot for them before I did all that, so they weren't just laying on a shelf. So yeah, I really like this. That looks really cool. Of course, it's kind of weird to have like Magical Girl, both of like that's anime, that's anime. There's some anime on the shelf, but then you just have like Strawberry Shortcake at the top. But you know what? It works, it fits, and I'm happy. So yay. So now we need to figure out where, I, I was thinking like, oh, Chinese BJD is there, My Little Pony there, perfect. But we forgot about drum roll. The My Little Pony freaks, like the fairy tale birds and stuff. I don't think I'll ever have like a full shelf worth of them, so I'm sure I'll work it out and figure out where they're gonna go. Like for example, that shelf is empty. Um, like realistically, all of those could go on a different shelf and it would be totally fine. And also the baby shelf has a lot of extra space. Potentially the flutter ponies could go there or at least the wingers, I don't know. I've never said wingers out loud before, I don't think. These guys, the windy wing and the summer wings. Um, I think both of mine are from the same series, but I don't remember which one's which ever. Um, but yes. Very, very happy. This is super cute. So I'm gonna pop these guys up one. I'm gonna move somebody here, probably, and we'll, we'll work it out. We're gonna figure this out. It's gonna be great. I'm realizing now that I am out of those, and I really need more of those for this project. And every time I run out of them, I just go pilfer them from the other room, but then we run into a new problem where it's like, okay, now I have to go figure that out. Uh, I mean, that top shelf might not need them necessarily. I will say, ooh, I could put the Celebration Castle on display. Also, I have that huge pink castle from G3 that is ridiculous and like impossible to store anywhere. So I might as well just put that thing on display and put some ponies in it, right? Because the G3 area looks specifically like G3 is very lame right now. There's not a whole lot going on other than my Mint and Box Minty collection. It looks cool. And I love that Apollonia in box too, so cool. I love the G3s, they're so unbelievably nostalgic for me. And it's really cool to have G3s and Little's Pet Shops in box. Also, I need to, I've been scared to do it, but my Little's Pet Shops in box, some of them are looking a little musty. So I need to work out how to clean them. Oh my God, by the way, <laughs> I was texting my mom about like random Little's Pet Shops that I was looking for, just being like, well, I was thanking her because when I was a kid, she worked really hard to get me the snake ones because those are the ones that I really wanted. And I was thanking her like, hey, I'm looking at all the snakes because I'm only missing a couple of them. And I noticed that this is probably the most expensive one. And because this one is Walmart exclusive, but you got her for me. Like you hunted them down because I have this one. I have like, there's an orange one that came in like a specific set. That one's quite expensive too, but I have them. Like I'm only missing a couple of them that came out after Oh my god, I fell over. <laughs> I was squatting and I fell. Um, they came out after I stopped collecting, you know? So I was thanking her for that. And she was like, hey, do you still have that Toys R Us giraffe one? And she she was like, is that one worth anything? Because she she must have distinctly bought an extra of this one for me to keep in box. Or actually, do I even have that one out of box? I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, she like all these years <laughs> kept it in box. Unfortunately, it got creased at some point when I was moving. That was before the first house that I moved into, I think. But um, that was so cute that she like distinctly remembered an exact pet that shopping mall is leaning. <gasps> we'll fix it, it's okay, okay. Let's figure out some play sets to put up here. 
because it I don't want it to look empty specifically that g3 zone looks horrible but look how satisfying g4 zone looks like by the way y'all okay this set was stuck hello princess it was just stuck shut like i guess because it's been so long it just would not come free and it said that you just press this button and it should pop out even if you lose the wand but i think that means like I, I read the instructions but i think that means only if you still have batteries in it so i had to replace the batteries so i had to i don't have double a batteries i always just steal them from somewhere else so i've got these ones are from a light stick um like from japan <laughs> um and then these were the original ones this is the brand i don't is this what Hasbro was using? I have no idea. These are from like remotes, but we made it work. We found... Oh, none of these work, by the way, just the ones that are in it. Um, so I'm going to go buy some AA batteries, I think. Batteries are just so expensive and I very seldom need them. I, I usually just steal them from one of my play sets. Like I have them in the Rainbow High car and the Mermaids, um, like whatever that playset is called, you know. Or is that one even electronic? I'm thinking of the Pacific Coast playset. Anyway, I need to clean this. It's like really dusty even. Like you can see that's the part that was closed. Cause if you didn't know this set like, it goes like that. And it comes with a little wand that you're supposed to, oh, that's still out, but fine. Uh, you're supposed to like wave a wand here and it magically opens, but, or you can just do this. It's a little bit unnerving. And then of course these things pop out too. But anyway, I'm going to scrub this down. Okay, my friends, here's our My Little Pony situation. We're just continuing to stretch the My Little Pony section out, and I'm not mad at it. So let me zoom out. I'm loving how the top area looks, and I really like that G1 is kind of making sense here because it's weird that the shelf is higher, so that there's this continuity here, and then I'm not going to feel overly weird about having something unrelated up here. Although I do have my PR kit from uh, Basic Fun that they sent for those. That could maybe go there because I was really sad that I couldn't display that because I mean I can but it would just take up so much space that it would be kind of a waste of space. Um, also I'm seeing like a lot of room for growth now which is great. There was not really room for growth before but you can see this shelf is not full. This shelf has a few spots. This shelf I kind of scooted them all because I was gonna put the wingers there but then I decided because I don't have enough G2s to fill that shelf and it will bother me how empty it looks and it's still bothering me how empty it looks. Also look at this. I just don't, I, I don't want to let go. I ripped it off the other day. It's really sad, but I think I'm going to have to pull it off. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'll use my other hand so you don't have to look at that because it's actually disgusting. This shelf, see, so I have these two shelves, I mean, I have three. I just don't know what to do with the bottom shelves except like the plushies make sense. And then this is just Pony Junction of ponies that still need to go on display, but I haven't decided where yet because uh, where are they going to go? I started hiding some like special edition G3s around. Not special, not all special edition, like Avalonia, I put there because of that. But like, she doesn't go to a set. She goes to a play set. Like there's not a group of ponies that she goes to. Um, and I'm vaguely sorting by time period and I do have some empty areas. So I'm gonna see if any of them fit. The baby G3s, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do with those. They don't really, I mean, some of them are fitting, but I have a lot more that were individually packaged. So please excuse the pieces of styrofoam that are on the floor and you sweep those up anyway yeah i still need to cut up the styrofoam that i bought for that shelf but i really don't want to because it's like really difficult to actually cut that stuff but whatever so yeah i think this is probably where i'm going to end off but okay the plan which is why i started recording in the first place is that so the darling dinos are just kind of there because i don't want their back cards to get hurt so don't worry about that. But at the same time, those are our two situations, right? We have our My Little Pony-esque freaks, such as Darlin' Dinos, and those aren't gonna take up a full shelf again. And then we also have our um, Chinese Baljoni dolls. I suspect the Chinese Baljoni dolls will take up more space than just one shelf, we'll see. Uh, if I had more of these, oh my God, that'd be so perfect for them. But of course I don't. Those were at Target, by the way, and I bought so many of them, so many of them, but unfortunately, they're all kind of being used right now. I think I can pilfer some from various little areas, but those are the black ones, and I kind of want the white ones on these shelves, but um, the majority of them, I mean, you can see, the majority of them are being used here, which is kind of, like, they work the best here, so I don't want to take them away, but I might for the greater good, you know? 
Are they? Yeah, they're back there too. Isn't this the perfect? Like I fit them in perfect. This shelf's kind of a disaster, if I'm being honest. Like I'm not fitting as much as I could here and it just kind of looks stupid. And I could totally use those. And these I can buy more of. These I can't. They're gone forever. Unless I get my own wood shop, which I really, really would like to have someday. But anyway. Ooh, y'all are gonna be mad at me if I do it, but I wanna do it because the shelf is just weird. Also, I have a G5 set to unbox that comes with Misty, so now I'm gonna have Misty. Yay! Woohoo! So, they all fit, I mean, not all, sorry. They fit really, really well there. I've got my Antu ones. I've got my kind of more like random human ones. I've got my Bonnies. Kind of weird right now. I'll stand them up probably. I wanted to sit some back there like I did here, but I don't know. And then I've got my insect ones. And you know, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna expand them downward and probably like have the more like traditional human ones that aren't animal in any way move down. And then I'll have room for growth. Does this solve our My Little Pony freak problem? No, but. I have the new in box uh, Darlin' Dinos that would justify this space and that little pretty playset, but I don't know if I like that right now and you, like I will not be taking down that Kawaii Crush Mall. I just won't be doing it. It's not gonna happen. It took so long to put that up and I put it up twice. So <laughs> that is here to stay. And we did take those down, may they rest in peace. I keep kicking the same thing, sorry. And then, um, look what I found, by the way. Sorry, there's some more dolls in here that need to be dealt with, but my extra little pet shop. I was like, I re distinctly remember a little pet shop haul with certain pets in it that are not in my display. What the heck? They were underneath my Chinese ball Johnny dolls, which explains a lot because it was like the extra ones or the ones that weren't on display yet um, when I had the original display going, which by the way, like considering I had the, sorry, I'm really trying to open this. And I just can't. I really need to install it. I could really just put tape here to open it. But anyway, I had like all this random stuff like this stacked up. And then, I don't know. So anyway, yay! Because I knew I had this guy. And I've been wanting to feature him in videos. So, because I love these grasshopper ones. So, yay! I knew I had... Oh, well, I also had this. Um, I knew I had more of these new gen pets. And also some other old gen pets that I specifically purchased, like this one, so, yeah, that's... <laughs> I was like, where did I put these? Because I found everything but the... But yeah, anyway, that's... That's just me being stupid, sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to tell you guys a story to wrap up this video, so that's it for the actual updates in this video. But anyway, <laughs> on Monday of this week, after I had uploaded my video on Sunday, I got this comment, and I was thinking, like... Surely not. I saw that doll and she was very cute and I kind of regretted leaving her behind because I know I said in the video like not for me and what I was referring to is I'm kind of skipping the 80s right now and I knew that was an 80s-ish Barbie and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm really focused on the 60s and the 70s right now and those are quite expensive and I don't know a whole lot about the 80s yet. So I saw this comment and I was like I really don't think that's true but I looked into it and sure enough <laughs> that doll was one that I could not miss. So <laughs> I decided to go back. So I'm going to include the clip of me being like just straight up ignoring that doll. And I also ignored the cases, which also had stuff in them. So anyway, here we go. Let's see if she's still there. Looky here. That's a prince I need. I think this is the Nutcracker one, right? He's missing a crown, but like how much does that matter to me? And then, ooh, there's Clara. Oh, cool. I needed that one. Okay. Sweet. Boop. <laughs> we are having a Barbie haul today. Who is this one? She's not for me, but she is cute. Alright, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, it was... Okay, she's still here. But watch her be expensive because I didn't check the price. Oh my god. Yeah, so I'll put on screen why that's crazy. Someone pointed it out to me in my last video, and I was like, she's cute, and like she's a Barbie from an era that I don't have a whole lot from, but I just wasn't sure, and because I had already bought so much. Yay!
So I came back for Pink Jubilee. Excuse my nail, it's coming off. So I came back for my $25 Pink Jubilee Barbie and I didn't realize these trunks had stuff in them last time. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna see, I'm sure how busy it is. Oh, there was a doll. What is that? Ooh, that's a Polly Pocket. I think the Bluebird is Polly Pocket, right? Okay, well, I might have to go home with all of these Barbie cases because um, if they all have a good amount of stuff in them, then why not? For this, oh! I can't believe this. Oh, that's one for my, I actually have this doll. She's a, God, was she like a babysitter or something? I have her. At all their stuff. Wow. Okay, and then one more. I can't believe I didn't check this last time. I feel so stupid. Okay, and then, oh, this one's empty. Yeah, oh, cute though. There's a little setup, and there's little spots for Kelly's. So that's the Kelly box is empty. Okay. Oh. Well, I did some research on this doll and she's only from like a specific event. So I think there's a thousand of her, but look, is this a napkin from the event? Sorry, if the, my nail is coming off, so please excuse that. Look. Oh, wow. One of 1200 that were created to commemorate the Pink Jubilee celebration. This is so cool. Of course, the price. I can't believe this. Dropped her stand. Yeah, let's not lose the stand. And then her shoes. So I'm back in my car and <laughs> they were like, why are you back? Like, cause I was just here a couple days ago and I was telling them the significance of this doll and how one of my subscribers commented and let me know and how like, oh my God, I usually Google the doll just in case. Um, and they were like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Like this person just goes to random estate sales. I just can't imagine cause the seller wrote rare Jubilee Barbie. $25. And anyway, I was just talking about how excited I was about this find. And and then the, I don't know if she's the owner or just somebody who I always see here, who wasn't the one checking me out at the desk, but she walked up to me and was like, here, I think you should have this since you're a Barbie girl and you always buy up all our Barbies. That's so sweet. It's a 1994 pin from a Barbie festival. It's so cute.